Hey everybody, today I'm going to be testing out some giant arm blue PETG. Extra bag is always nice. That looks very nicely spooled up. Very nicely spooled for something on the cheaper end. Two twenty, two fifty, plus or minus point oh three. Have to check the tolerance, make sure it's nice and within that. Let's check it with some calipers in a few spots. I'll check it as we get further into the spool as well. Looks pretty good just off the bat though. 0.01 variance. Observe, make sure not to let that get tangled up or else we'll have a nice mess. Okay. All right. Now let's check out some sample prints. So here are two sample prints from the Giant Arm Blue PETG. Um, this is a little cube thingy majigger designed. Uh, came out pretty good. Uh, the outer surfaces are nice and smooth, which supports that the filament has a nice good tolerance. Um, Overhangs are a bit tough, but that's to be expected with no supports. Um, yeah, it came out pretty smooth. This is printed at uh, 50 millimeters per second on my Ender 3 V2. And then this is a fractal pyramid a lot of you may have seen, or maybe not. It's available on Thingiverse. Um, printed in spiral vase mode with a 0.4 millimeter line width and 0.2 millimeter layer height. Came out really good again. Uh, yeah, definitely satisfied with this filament. Yeah, definitely give it a try if you are looking for a new new blue to give a try. It'll be fun to use up the rest of the spool. All right, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more filament reviews. Uh, have a good day. Peace.